Good day, mates. <clears throat> Welcome back to this very sticky Sunday morning. It's not particularly uh, it's blue sky and sunshine out there, but it's warm as anything, boy. A little bit of grey cloud here and there, a little bit of wind, but it's warm. Anyway. So, what have I been up to, I hear you say? Well, I've started a buddy build with uh, my fellow bearded burbler, Matt, from Down Under, mate. Uh, <clears throat> we're both uh, confirmed stug addicts, so we've started this together. Because I bought it and Matthew already had it in his stash and it was his decision for us to start a buddy build on it so that's what I did and uh, this was a few weeks ago we decided to do this and finally kick off was yesterday and uh, I managed to get a good um, start on it so let's have a so look. here's what I managed yesterday the swing arms are on the lower hull. That piece there is just held on with mask oil because there was um, <clears throat> no uh, locating pins, no uh, nowhere to say this is the angle it goes and that's where it's going to stay kind of thing. So it's on with mask oil. It's roughly the angle that it shows in the picture on the instructions. And I'll wait until uh, I get to put the tracks on. There's the underside. It's pretty detailed again. There's the other side. So, I cracked on with the uh, sprocket and look the wheels they're so easy to do like that just cut them off the sprue leave that little connecting bit in the middle stick the two halves together and uh, now it's ready to be separated sanded and painted and these little chaps makes it nice and easy to handle no mess, no fuss. As you can see, they're all done. So that's basically the lower hole ready to rock and roll. So what my plan is today is to get those cut off, cleaned up and sprayed. And... Uh, Spray the hole, maybe prime it, maybe top coat it, I don't know yet. See what happens. Looks like a nice little kit. There's a little bit of PE that comes with it. Not much. And uh, we're off and running on the group build. I think Matt's made a good start on his... Um, don't know what day it is today down under it might be the bottom end of sunday i think anyway that's where i'm up to so far just gonna cut these off and then they can all be sanded painted easy as that really not bad No Continental logo written around the outside of the 
wheel, but hey ho, it's a pretty old kit. It is what it is, boys. So that's all the <coughs> running gear taken off the sprue. There's all the wheels, the rollers, there's the two spares, sprockets, etc. Already willing and able to be cleaned up and painted and what i'm going to use is this it's a tamiya sanding sponge 400 grit nice little spongy 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 and what i do is just cut a bit off cut a bit off with the old scalpel and you got a nice little Bit of sand in sponge there. Big bit can go back in the drawer. So now what we're going to do is just pick our wheels up and just go round and round on the sponge. And because it's a sponge, obviously it will conform to the shape of the wheel and uh, you don't get any flat spots. Which is what we want. A little bit of knife cleaning with that one. Think. And that's good to go. Put that over there so I know what I've done and what I ain't done. Let's do a bit of knife cleaning before we go any further. Just pick the little bits of sprue off. Back on the old sponge, turning the wheel round. Round, around, round. Where it stops, nobody knows. Lovely jubbly. A little bit there. Don't get too hung up on it. Any little nibs that you think might be still showing. Just put them down on top of the tracks. No problem. Right, I'll do one more. And then that's enough of this boring stuff. You all know what to do when you're sanding. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, so I'll crack on with them. And then we'll come back. Ta-da! Done. All done. So it does... Uh, it does rip a little bit. Of your sanding sponge, but that's not a problem. There's still plenty of sand ability on that. So they're all done. Ready to rock and roll, my friends. So what my plan is. Prime. And the road wheels will be that the Jan AK sweet stuff of a black so that's rubber black surface primer and then I believe if I've got any left which i'm not sure i've got enough of to be honest hopefully that it's a lacquer it's pre-thinned straight out of this bottle straight into the airbrush and it's 
beautiful paint stinks like anything so uh, best to put a bit of face covering on we'll see how we go with that I might have to order some more of that so that's my plan so let's get this uh, mounted and uh, start the painting okay so we're back in the room all the wheels are mounted on my homemade corrugated cardboard wheel mounter thingy my bob all these uh, road wheels I had to snip the pointy end off the cocktail sticks but the uh, spares went all the way through and the uh, rollers there just fixed with a bit of blue tack because there wasn't a hole in the back so what the plan is now to uh, spray 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 so the compressor's on the paint is being shook the spray thing is ready for action so let's do this craziness and shoot some primer on and I'll do the lower hull as well while we're at it so let's crack on so here we go we've got this a few drops of this and we're ready to roll <laughs> let's put the lower hull over there and I can smell somebody's fired up a barbecue outside by the smell of it I reckon Get a bit of paint on these. Oh, that one's flew off. There we go, I think that'll do it. That's those done. We'll get this done now. My trusty old Liquitex tub. A nice blob of blue tack on top. Press that down on there. Oh, that's not sticking very well, John Oak. I need to work that a bit. It's a bit Draw it out, I reckon. Make a nice big fat mound. Press it down. Yeah, not so bad. Right, let me get them out of the way. Put 
that there. Uh, need a top up. Some of that. Some of that. Stir, stir, stir. No finesse with me, mate. Absolutely no finesse. I'll just crack on with it. Right, let's go. We have a bit of a blockage, Houston. So we're back in the room. Just a little bit of blockage in the nozzle. Back on with this. Would help if I turn the compressor on again. So we've got a bit of air pressure. <laughs> Still not coming out. Still not coming out. What in the blue blazers is going on there, mate? Oh, there we go. Don't ask me why I'm priming the inside, I've no idea. Right. Make sure I get all the little nooks and crannies. Right, I think that'll do for now. Let me just go over let me go over these just in case we've missed any bit. Still got a bit of paint in the cup. Well, I think that'll do for now. There you go. Paint gone. Priming finished. Top coat next. Right. <clears throat> so we're back after uh, letting the paint dry. The primer dry. So I'm going to do the wheels with the rubber black. The rubber black, the rubber black, the rubber black. If it will focus, you can see the rubber black. They can't. Well, it's AK okay, rubber black anyway, you know the score. I've got my little. This. With a 0.2. And we're going to spray all the wheels for the rubber black.
try and get all the inside. I'm always before I put the wheels on, I always give them a little check, and then uh, I can hit that little bit in the gap. Just twizzle the wheel round in my fingers and just hold a brush in the gap. That does it. It's easy enough. Just trying to get all the the bit that represents the rubber covered. And I can always go over it with a brush before we're finished with the wheels. If there's any spots of mist or that are not enough coverage. Apart from the uh, gap in the middle, it all looks pretty good to me so far. I might have enough MRP lacquer paint to do the uh, Panzer Grey on the wheels. I'm not going to uh, take a chance on starting the hull yet because I don't think I've got enough. I'll order some and uh, that'll be here in the next couple of days. No problem. Just trying to make sure I've got everything covered. The airbrush might as well run the paint out rather than throw it away. Oh, and there we have an escapee. That's one of the spare wheels. No, it's not. Try and get as much on the back as I can. We don't really want grey showing through anywhere. Ideally, not anyway. It's not a major disaster if you do, because you can do it with your brush, a little bit of paint, brush, brush, brush. I'm trying to look at it from all angles. That looks alright, doesn't it? Not a lot wrong with that. So I'm going to leave them. And uh, I'll call them finished. Obviously apart from the pans of grey. And that's it. Again this was the paint I used. 
AK. Get out. I don't know why he's refusing to focus for some reason. Anyway, you know what it is. That's about it, folks. Thanks for watching this little uh, buddy build video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da for now.